Hello, this is a video demo of how to mint NFTs on Solana uh, with soulminting.com. So here I will show you, we will first create a project. I uh, will say example project one, let's create three NFTs on it. Uh, for the sake of speed, I will do DevNet. Um, and then for asset, uh, we could self host, um, but let's upload all of our assets to our weave. So let's create this project. Uh, now I'm greeted with a few details here. Uh, there's a project password that's a secret, um, and then I need to deposit a required balance. So here, let me first save these details for later. So in case I need to have access to my password and reaccess this project. Now what I need to do is deposit uh, 0.075 soul to this address, which was created uh, for new minting. So here I will open up my phantom wallet. I will send to this address 0.0575 soul, soul, send that. I'll wait for that to be confirmed. Now that that transaction is confirmed, I will get the transaction ID. So here it's opening soul scan. Uh, here's the transaction and it just got finalized, which is great. So let me copy that. And now I can paste in that transaction and I can confirm it. Great. So now my project has uh, been fully funded and I can upload all of my design assets as well as uh, prepare the definition of my NFT metadata. So first, uh, let's upload my design assets. So what I can do is I can click this link and it'll ask me to log into Amazon. So let me just copy these details over here. Password is the same as my project password. So let me open up my project password and paste that in. Okay, so now I'm signed in on Amazon. And what I want to do is upload my files. So let's upload some files. Here I have three images that I could upload. Um, let's start by just uploading two uh, and see what happens. So let me upload these two files. They just uploaded successfully, which is great. Um, now what I want to do is I want to uh, prepare the metadata. So here we have two examples um, with both CSV and JSON. Um, I will download the CSV example. So let's say Solomon the example. Sure, great. Um, now what I want to do is I will edit this file. And I have a list of details here. I have like, you know, the title of an NFT. Um, and I have the address that's being sent to and a bunch of metadata. I want to set where the NFT is going to be deposited, so the to address, and then also where uh, royalties will accrue. So I will say, um, you know, the address of, you know, creator one. Um, let me upload that modified CSV. So here there are three NFTs in the CSV. Let me look at the first one. So here's the image that I just uploaded. Uh, here is my uh, creator address, um, which will receive royalties, uh, as well as where it will be deposited to. Um, and I have, you know, more expanded details of the, uh, you know, developer data of, you know, what the NFT metadata will look like on chain. Um, I can select NFT three instead. Now you'll notice I didn't, uh, upload NFT two here. Um, so if I look at two, I see there is no value there. Um, so I have all the metadata, but the, the asset is missing. So first let's just try and say, let's finalize, uh, these three NFTs. So. Okay, great. Uh, we just finalized those. Now let's verify that all the assets are properly uploaded. If I verify, I then see that uh, image two is missing. So what I can do is I can upload image two. Great. So I just uploaded that. Let me verify again. Great. Okay, so now uh, that all of the assets have been verified, um, we can now start the uploading and minting process. 
So there are a few stages here. We can see as this progresses, um, we have our three NFTs. And each stage, what we have is the uploading of assets to Arweave. Um, you know, or if you're using self-host, you know, we won't have to upload them. But uh, here we chose to upload all assets to Arweave for permanent uh, Web3 storage. So we're doing that. Um, then we will mint three uh, Solana NFTs. We will uh, create the metadata uh, for those NFTs. We will then create the smart contracts on Metaplex. Um, and then we will deposit uh, the finalized NFTs into your account. So here, um, everything is um, you know, basically passive and will happen um, you know, automatically. You just wait and occasionally if you want, you can refresh. And you'll see, okay, cool, great. Um, you know, we, we have, um, you know, assets uh, that, that have been minted. Um, and now we can, you know, wait for the rest of this information to come in. So here you'll notice um, we have one Solana Mint. Um, we have a status saying that it was successful. And we have a link to both uh, Soul Scan and the Solana Explorer. So if we want, for instance, we could you know, click into this uh, on Soul Scan, and we could see here is this you know uh, this token that we named. It doesn't have any metadata associated yet, but that will be populated in a minute. Um, and then we can also do the same on the Solana Explorer, uh, which will show you know it's an unknown token until we attach all the metadata to it. So let's just kind of wait here. So after refreshing, one of the things we'll see is now this NFT has uh, its metadata uploaded to Arweave. So if we click on this link, uh, what we'll see is here is the metadata that is hosted on Arweave. Um, and that is permanent Web3 storage of the metadata that was in the CSV. So now we just kind of wait and we'll see the rest of these fill out. Now, after refreshing, we can see that each of these NFTs has at least been assigned a mint address, and one of them has already got a Metaplex contract. So here, if we want, we could look at the specific transaction in the Explorer, but let's actually look at the mint itself. Now, it should be updated with all of the metadata. So now here we can see here is the NFT. Um, you know, we have the list of creators, we have the attributes, we have the royalties associated with it. And, you know, we will have this um, for, you know, all these eventually, but, you know, these will progressively roll in. After refreshing again, we now see that we have uh, our weave metadata for all three contracts. Okay, and after refreshing, now we can see that we have Metaplex data for all of our NFTs. So here I can open uh, the first one in the Solana Explorer. And what we can do is we can now see you know, the assets, we can see the creators, um, and we can see the, the metadata associated that we just uploaded. Now we're just waiting for them to transfer into our deposit address. And now after refreshing, we can see that this transaction uh, for transferring and depositing the NFT uh, into our um, address has been finalized. So now if we actually check our Phantom Wallet, if we go to our NFTs tabs, we should now see the NFT that we just minted. And it has the asset, it has the you know, properties and attributes. And again, you know, if we want, we can look at its soul scan and it'll show us the same link that we had earlier that shows a more detailed view of the history of the NFT. Great, and now after refreshing, we have all of our NFTs deposited to our uh, custom address. So here, if I open my Phantom, and I should see all three NFTs here. So we have the first, the second, and third. Great. Um, so here, now we can say our project is done and the mint has fully been completed. Um, we could deposit these NFTs anywhere. Um, eventually we can directly self sell them from the site. Um, but if for whatever reason you have to leave this page while it's still in progress, um, you know, what you can do is imagine if you just, you know, go and you come back later uh, what we'll do is we'll prompt you with a password 
And, you know, if you don't have a password, we don't provide you access. Um, but if you save the uh, password that we gave you earlier, then you can log in and great. You can, can reaccess this project at any point or even share this project with other people and they can track the, the progress, even though it should be minted quite rapidly. Um, thank you for uh, watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email devon, D-E-V-O-N, at soulminting.com. Um, and other than that, thank you for watching and have a great day. Take care.